there are 10 million factories in the world. Um, the problem is the amount of unhealthy things they let out. They let out lots of fossil fuel emissions. These include methane, carbon dioxide, and nitrous oxide. Combustion is the factor of these toxic things that pollute our air. These fuels can be very widespread, which is why it would be in our best interest to find better alternatives in factories. Fossil fuel exhaust is also a prime factor in climate change. This makes our summers colder and our winters without snow. As you can see, as a world, we let out 3 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide into our air. Our own country, the United States, lets out the second most just, just behind China. So our pollution is millions of metric tons higher than a whole continent of Africa. Just like a quarter of what the United States lets out. Miners and roughnecks, or people who work on oil rigs, are more likely to have various types of health problems. Well, this shows that the world, the parts of the world that get the most sunlight and how we can power the world by using solar panels with zero carbon emissions. Well, a major problem with coal mines is getting black lung. Black lung is caused by long exposure to Coal dust gets trapped in the miners' lungs, which makes it harder to breathe, which eventually kills them. So as you can see in this graph, this shows like the percentage of coal mine workers that are suffering to black lung by year. So as you can see, in zero to nine years, up to 25 years, both nationwide and states like um, West Virginia, Virginia, and Eastern Kentucky, there's a positive correlation that goes up. So that represents that the more amount of years that you work in coal mines, the higher chance you have of getting black lung. And overall, the percentage is pretty high in both these states and nationwide. This shows how people working or living around oil and gas chemicals are getting various types of health problems. So in this graph, you can see sensory organ, you can see uh, liver problems, uh, brain and nervous system problems, problems with your immune system, problems with your kidney, and things like cancer, which is very bad. There are many types of different types of alternative energy sets that we use, so our cars and other forms of transportation. Lately, many cars have started to use electric to power their cars. Not only is this better for Conclusion is quite obvious.
bodies that earth is slowly deteriorating under our feet with our wasteful society letting out things into our air and into our water. There's been many alternatives that are better for us and for the earth. It would be best for us if we can acknowledge this and begin to make those weak alternatives our main priority. These things are the future. For that reason, it would be best for our earth if we had wider varieties of healthy alternative energies. So it's just... Special thanks to Lauren.